Hi everyone, welcome to Theme Squad. Today in this video training, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents in a WordPress blog post. The plugin we are going to use to serve this purpose is called Postex. It's a premium plugin. The table of contents we are going to create will look somewhat like this. Well friends, let's first show you how to install the plugin. Here, I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and I'm going to navigate to plugins and then click add new. Here on the top right corner, you can see plugin search box. Now search for post text. Here is the plugin we are looking for. So click install now button and then click activate. This is the overview of the installed plugin. Let's navigate to add-ons. Scroll down. Table of content is actually a add-on of the plugin Postex. It must be turned on to create a table of content. Now let's go to the post section. All posts are selected now. Let's edit this post to insert our table of content in it. We want to insert the table of content right above this section. So let's hit the block. Now click the three vertical dots. and hit insert before. Click the black plus icon. And here search for table of contents. This blog is by Postex. Choose the block. You can see that a table of content has been added. All the headers have the same alignment because they are the same size. Let me show you. The size is H3 for this header. If you are familiar with HTML tags, I know you are familiar with this. It's a HTML header tag. Keep scrolling down. The size is H3 for this header. It's basically a HTML header tag. And for this as well. As you can see, for every header, it is H3. Let's change the size of this header. Select H4. Now let's go to scroll upwards now you can see indentation has changed for the header in the table so this is all about header size hierarchy now let's see how to customize the table of contents click anywhere on the table block you can see a few options in the sidebar to the right scroll down and then up. There are actually customization options for the post text table of contents. As you can see, there are three tabs here design, setting, and advanced. Let's explore the design tab first. First of all, let's try layout. By default, this layout is selected, where the headers start with bullets small black circles. How about this layout? The bullets are now replaced with numbers. 
the subheaders is followed by 2.1 which is really amazing and useful. Let's try the other layouts. Well, we can't because they are available in the pro version of the plugin. If you want to unlock the amazing pro features of this plugin, you can upgrade to the pro using the link we have provided in that video description. Let's scroll down. This section is ready-made design. As we hover on its design, the premium and GoPro indications shows up. So, you know they are not usable in the free version. In the advanced section, you can add additional CSS classes. If there are multiple classes, you need to separate them with spaces. Now, let's switch to the setting tab. There are five sections here. General, Heading, List Body, Collapsible, and Advanced. Let's click General. Here is the list of header sizes you allow. They are termed as tags here. Let's cancel a sport. As a result, the subheaders doesn't show up any longer. Well, let's include a sport as well. Now, toggle this button to make the table collapsible or uncollapsible. As you can see, the moment you toggled this button up, the close sign here doesn't show anymore. Now close changes to open. You can also enable the back to top button by toggling this. Let me demonstrate a little. Let's preview the post. See, the table is initially collapsed when the page has loaded as we choose. Click open and the table was expanded. As I scroll down, a button appears here. This is the back to top button. Click it and you are back to the top of the page. Now click heading. Here you can change the heading text for the table of content. You can also change font color. Background color. Typography. border, button radius, and padding for the heading of the table of content. Now about the list body section. This is the list body. Here hover style and enable sticky are pro features. That means we can't change them on the free version of Postex. So, to unlock the amazing pro features, you can use the link in the video description and upgrade to pro. If you use our link, that will be a great contribution to our channel. However, we can change the width of the list body gap between list and spacing y
we can also change the font color background color hover color background color and typography see the font family and the font size line height and letter spacing have changed you can adjust the padding for the list as well collapsible Let's move on the collapsible section now. Currently, the button position is right. This is how the setup looks when the button position is beside title. Let's get back to right now the collapsible type by default text is selected let's switch to icon in this mode you can change the collapsible foreground color background color hover color hover background color border border radius and padding now let's switch back to text in this mode you can change the open text let's change it to expand also change the close text to collapse you can also change the collapsible font color background color Hover color Hover background color Typography Border border radius and padding now about the back to top button currently its position is right you can change it to left Let's get back to right. The current icon for the button is angle. You can change it to arrow or caret. 
You can also change the foreground color. The background color. Hover color. Hover background color. Icon size. Border. Border radius. And padding for the button. In the advanced section, you can add additional CSS classes. Well, now in the advanced tab, there are four sections general, responsive, custom CSS, and advanced. In the general section, you can add ID. Adjust Z index, margin, and padding. As for the normal sub tab, you have settings option for background, border, box shadow, and border radius. One thing to note here is the setting options might be different for large, medium, small, and extra small devices. So, switch between these options if needed wherever you see them. As for the hover sub tab, you have settings option for background, hover border, hover box shadow, and hover radius. To be able to use the options provided in the responsive section, you need to upgrade to the pro version. Put your custom CSS code here. And in the advanced section, you can add additional CSS classes. After making all the changes, be sure to hit the save button. The post is updated. Let's view the post. Here is our table of contents which is collapsed initially. Let's hit this button. The table has expanded. These are list items. Most of them are with H3 header size. The one with H4 header size is intended. Okay, guys, this is how you add a table of contents in a blog post using post text. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button to appreciate our efforts. Also post your comments and smash the subscribe button. In addition, click the bell icon to be the first person to watch our latest video. So long, have a great day.